Hey there everyone, Hitesh here back again with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna clear up all of your doubts regarding Kotlin and Java. So in case you are not aware, I did a previous video on uh, the introduction of the Kotlin. So Kotlin is officially in now. And it made a lot of buzz that, hey, is Java dead now? Should we be learning Java right now or not? Should we stop our training or not? So yes, there were a lot of good discussion being made on the previous video. So obviously it needed a one more video so that we can clear up all the air and can get friendly in here. Now before we move on there, uh, let me tell you that discussion is always a good thing. I always appreciate the discussion. With the discussion, always good thing comes up. Sometimes you make your point, sometimes I make my point and that's how we do a discussion. So keep on that. I always look out for that and try to make more videos with that. Now moving on. Now first of all, I would like to answer two very important questions and then we will move on further to the discussion in here. Now point number one is, if you are doing any kind of training in the Java and Android, you don't need to stop doing that. You can carry on with that. It's not like there is a subtle move from Java to the Kotlin. It's not like that. Java is going to stay for quite some time, at least for quite some time uh, in here. So there's no point of uh, getting panic there. Uh, do keep in mind that uh, you should be uh, learning whatever you are doing. Don't stop that. Learning is a good thing. Whatever you are learning, uh, Java, Android, keep doing that. But also keep in mind that Kotlin is going to be there in some nearby future. So keep on with your training, but keep an eye on the Kotlin. If you can find out some good courses or anything, just make sure you learn Kotlin as well. By the way, our course is also rolling out uh, on the Kotlin very soon. Uh, but that's not the thing in here. I'm just saying that uh, wherever you are learning, whatever you are learning, keep doing that. Don't stop that because your Java experience will be quite helpful in learning the Kotlin as well. And just to give you a good idea about how Kotlin will uh, get or take over the Android development, uh, Kotlin is actually completely interoperable with the Java. So you can convert your Java code into Kotlin and Kotlin code into Java. And I was working uh, at one of the projects where we have to integrate uh, one of the feature uh, in one of the very good app and that complete feature was written in the Kotlin and later on we just integrated that file into an existing Android app. So yes, that's possible and completely valid as well. So that's a good news for everybody. Just keep on continuing with your training, focus on learning and you will be a good programmer. No need to be panicked about the Java. Now point number two is a lot of people said, hey, we did a certification of the Java. Will companies will take in now or they will require for everybody for the Kotlin? No, it's not like that. Java will still be existing in there uh, parallelly with the Kotlin. So all of your certification are not just a waste of the time or anything. It, it will surely help you in there. But now, now comes up the meat part of the discussion. Let's carry on with that. But we need to roll that intro. We almost forgot that how we can do that. So let's roll our intro. Okay, so before we move on and talk about why you should be learning Kotlin and yes, Java is going to be there, but it's very, very important to learn in the Kotlin. Now, before we, I put on uh, more of my points in there, let me tell you one thing. Language is just a tool. It's just a tool to produce anything. Let me tell you my experience so far. I have been into the app development for quite some good time. I have produced a lot of apps that have reached to the App Store and Google Play as well. Now, many times client has come to me and said that, hey, we need an app. This should be the feature and it should have a good experience. It should be a native app. And as long as I'm giving them a native app and the features they are asking, they are completely happy. They don't care if I'm writing that in Java, Kotlin, Swift, Objective-C, JavaScript, whatever it is. It should be a native app and should produce that feature. That's it. That's all about it. So what I'm doing right now is uh, most of the time for my Android apps, I'm writing my all of my code in JavaScript. Now, a lot of you might be uh, jumping around and will be saying, hey, you are not producing a native app in JavaScript. You are just producing a hybrid app. Nobody. I'm producing an, a complete native app and I'm fully aware of what hybrid app is. So the point is never love any programming language. It is just a tool that will come up and will go. I was once a big fan of Python and was looking around the ways to design everything in Python like websites, mobile apps, but that was a naive move and I understood that really quickly that that's a bad move. I shouldn't be doing that. I should be learning more programming languages. 
people were once a big time fan of Objective C and see now it's a sinking ship and people are just trying to jump into Swift. So my point is, yes, Java is a good skill, you should learn it, uh, but also keep an eye on the Kotlin. It's not like that you can stay forever with the Java, you, you shouldn't be doing that. The more programming languages you will understand, it's, it's always a good thing. Now also answering to one more question that was uh, quite uh, seamlessly been popping around and around was, Yes, uh, Java 8, I'm fully aware of that, that has got a la latest features and a lot of good features like Lambdas and everything. But let me ask you one question, my dear friends. How many apps have you written in the Java 8 that has reached to the App Store? You got the point. Uh, in the Android development or in the Android world, we usually use a Java 6-ish environment in there and things like Lambda functions are being integrated by the third-party libraries uh, like retro Lambdas and all these things. So yes, it's, it's a pain. Uh, Java 8 features are not completely integrated into the, into the Android environment and obviously uh, people will look out at the other languages which are mature and 100% interoperable with the Java so that we can integrate with them. And that is what Kotlin is doing. Now, Kotlin is, is a complete mature language having all those features like lambdas and everything. And trust me, it is far more less code that you will be writing in the Kotlin. And you can just uh, convert them directly into your Java or you can convert Java code into the Kotlin. Now, in case you missed a video by the Google guys, uh, on their channel, the video was being made uh, that you can just directly copy and paste your Java code into the Kotlin file and it will be automatically get converted into the Kotlin. Now, a lot of people will say, hey, why do we need to learn Kotlin if it automatically converts everything? No, my dear friend, you need to learn the syntax and basics of the language, which is almost, almost familiar uh, with the Java. So that's all about it. Now, I have tried to answer a lot of your questions and a lot of your doubts regarding the Kotlin and Java, but I would like to summarize it as well, just, I, just like I do in almost every movie. So point number one, keep carry on with your training with the Java and Android. It's, it's gonna be still beneficial for you, but uh, don't just completely merge into that. Stay an eye on the Kotlin. As soon as you get a chance to learn Kotlin, don't forget to learn that as well. Android Studio 3 will completely be, will be having all these features, so you can just play around with that directly. And uh, the point number two, don't stay with one language. Don't learn any language at all. Don't just love it. Uh, make sure you are ready to move on there because language is just a tool. Let me know what are your thoughts about uh, clearing up this confusion. If you have still more confusion, we will do more such videos until and unless your confusion is cleared up. I'm looking out for all the section, all, all in the comment section so that I can read your comments and can get your feedback. And by the way, if you haven't checked out yes yet, uh, please do check out Learn Code online.in, a recent website being rolled out to help all of the Indian students to learn programming and all of my future courses, including the Kotlin, will be there very soon. So don't forget to check out that and I'll surely catch you up in the next video.